So, ang pag-usapan natin ngayon, guys, is all about the salary. So, magkano nga ba yung sinasahod ko dito? Magkano nga ba yung expenses? Is it enough for the family? Is it enough to sustain my living here in Ireland? Or, pinagsisisihan ko ba kung bakit ako lumipat from Saudi Arabia, which is non-taxable salary? So, yung mga tanong na yan, guys, I will try to address all of those. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you were new to my channel, welcome to the family. And of course, please consider to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell as well para naman updated ka sa lahat ng mga bago kong uploads. And if you were a nurse and if you wanted to work here, or if you were aspiring to work here in Ireland anytime soon, I have a lot of videos for you guys and I hope makatulong yan sa inyo in any way. From my other video guys, I already discussed about the salary grade of nurses. So as I mentioned there, it depends on your years of experience, okay? And of course, depende din yung kung saan hospital ka mag-work, either government or the private institution. For this video guys, I'm not gonna tell you my monthly salary, but rather I'm gonna give you an idea kung ano no ba yung mga natatanggap ko monthly aside from the basic pay that I'm receiving, okay? So una na dyan, as I've mentioned earlier, your salary, it depends on the salary grade that you are into. And kung makakating ka dito anytime soon, meron na tayong tinatawag na enhanced nursing salary grade. So ibig sabihin, mas mataas na yung sweldo mo, receive mo from the old salary grade. Now guys, you are being paid here per hour. Okay, so as I mentioned before, 39 hours per week lang ang kailangan mong bunuin. Okay, and this 39 hours per week, this is not um, specific for every week. So meaning, commutative siya. So 39 hours per week, so in a month, roughly about 162 hours. Aside from your basic pay, you are gonna receive another or some additions, okay? Siyempre, you're gonna do your night duty. So we have here the night premiums. Um, we also have weekend duties. So we also have overtime. We also have bank holiday rate. So, yun yung mga additional natin. So, your basic salary, guys, is fixed, okay? However, your monthly salary depends on the aforementioned additions. And of course, let us not forget that there's a lot of deductions as well from your salary. So, unahin na natin dyan yung tax. So, magkano nga ba talaga yung tax? Kasi maraming nalilito, guys. So, mga followers ko dyan na nalilito, ako din naman. <laughs> But upon research and investigation, wow, lakas makasoko. So, I, I learned that yes, it is 40% guys for a single uh, employee, okay? 40% yung deduction. Now, let me just remind you guys that yung 40% guys, it will apply if you already reach your ceiling point ng salary mo. For example guys, yung ceiling point ng salary mo, meaning ito yung taxable amount, is just 3,500. Pero dahil nag-overtime ka ng marami, nag-night-duty ka ng madalas, nag-duty ka ng bank holiday, yung mga ganang bagay, lumagpas siya. For example, naging 4,000 yung, yung pay mo for that month. So what will happen guys, yung 3,500, it will be taxable 20%. And anything beyond that will be taxable 40%. Got it? Okay. Kaya nga guys, ang tip ng mga nauna na dito, yung mga matatagal na mga staff dito, is don't do too much overtime. Kasi alam niyo guys, I already tried that. And really, there's no much difference with your salary. So aside sa tax na ididedox sa spell mo guys, meron pa dyan mga government shares na tinatawa. So may mga ASC, USC, meron pa tayong mga social service, pension. Because the government of Ireland guys, they are really taking these amount from every employees guys. Ha? Lahat na employee. May mga deductions na ganito. Iba-iba nga lang yung amount kasi depende yan sa sweldo mo. Now, aside from the tax, aside from the government shares, meron din dyan mga essential deductions kung tawagin. Una na dyan guys, yung INMO membership fee. So ano nga ba tong INMO? Ang INMO guys, this is comparable to Philippine Nurses Association sa Pilipinas. Di ba may mga membership fee tayo siya? So this is not compulsory. However, this is advice and recommended. Especially dito sa Ireland, especially for those expats. Since mga bago tayong nurses dito sa Ireland, may mga cultural differences, may mga nursing practice differences, and uh, we want to be protected. So ang INMO is really a good nursing organization dito sa Ireland that really protects the nurses. So may backup ka. And if ever, wag naman sana, if you need a legal 
counsel or a legal team to represent you sa court, they can really help you. Pero syempre, kailangan mong bayaran din yung service nila. So yun ay monthly na membership fee. And on top of that guys, we also have the credit union na tinatawag. And ang credit union guys, this is like your savings, okay? So you need to apply to a third party entity to take care of your savings or your finances. So what can happen guys, you can set a certain amount from your salary na ita-deduct directly. Fix yun monthly unless you terminated it. Ang maganda din kasi guys, if you have the credit union, you can apply for a loan, for example, for your car loan, for for mortgage, etc. So yun yung mga usual deductions guys from your salary. So to tell you frankly guys, wala nang paano-ano to. Yes guys, almost half of your monthly salary goes to your deductions and tax. But hold up guys, don't worry, don't be discouraged kasi malaki pa rin naman yung sasahurin mo. And as I've mentioned, may mga deductions naman that you can live out. For example, your credit union. So kung ayaw mo mag, uh, mabawasin yung sweldo mo monthly, you can just live it out and then save it for yourself, diba? And sa INMO, which is 25 euros, so you can live that out, okay? So may mga ganun. Now guys, since nabigyan ko na kayo ng idea about may salary and my deductions, so bibigyan ko naman kayo guys ng idea kung magkano ba yung mga expenses ko monthly. Guys, the things that I'm gonna mention are really necessary. Unahin na natin yung house rent. So magkano nga ba ko dito? Currently, I am sharing in a three-bedroom apartment. So I have my own room. This is a single room. And we are sharing the kitchen and two of the rooms are sharing one bathroom and uh, we have the living room. So I'm paying 450 euros dito guys. So it's roughly about 25,000 pesos. So mura na to guys, okay? If you wanted to have the studio apartment, you can have roughly about like 900 to 1,100. Depende sa location. Medyo mahal talaga siya guys. So parang 25,000 you can rent a one condo unit na sa Makati. But what can we do? We need a shelter, right? Next is the utilities. So ano nga ba yung mga binabayaran ko dito? So I'm paying for the electricity, for the board gas. Board gas, ito yung um, heating system dito, yung radiators, and uh, what else? Broadband, internet broadband. So since I'm sharing with two other nurses dito, so we are sharing the amount. So I'm paying 60 euros per month. Talagay ko na lang yung conversion dito, guys. Next is my phone bill. So phone bill. So I subscribe to a plan. This is a phone with a mobile data, and I'm paying 40 euros per month. Next is the leap card. So, ano ba yung leap card guys? This is a bus tap card. This is a prepaid tap card. So, you're just gonna load that and consumable naman siya. So, for every trip guys, it will deduct by itself. Pag tinap mo siya dun sa reader sa mga bus. Next naman yung groceries. Siyempre, food is life. Diba? Kailangan natin talaga ng nutrition. Okay? To keep us going here. So, yung grocery guys, naka-fix lang ako sa 150 euros per month. Pero depende na rin yan sa kasi minsan nag overlap yung grocery ko so minsan mas less siya actually pero I try to make sure that I go grocery shopping every two weeks para at least fresh pa rin yung mga items na bibiling ko so depende yan so technically guys dito sa Ireland mura naman yung mga pagkain especially if you're gonna prepare it yourself and of course depende rin kung saka mag grocery shopping may mga supermarket dito guys that are cheaper compared to the other supermarket so depende na din kung saka mamimili and of course yung remittances so regarding sa remittances I'm still sending money to my family, my, my my parents, and of course, I'm sending money to my wife. So roughly, depending na rin guys up, but more or less, I am sending 1,000 euros per month. And of course, aside from that, may mga random expenses pala kayo. Siyempre, minsan gusto natin mag-shopping, mamili ng kung ano-ano, just to treat yourself. Usually, yung mga binibili ko, yung mga essentials lang talaga. Or if I wanted to indulge, usually, sa mga ano ko. Um, mga damit. Pero hindi sa mga high-end na mga damit. Napaka-simple ko lang naman tao. So, doon lang ako sa pennies. Okay na ako doon sa mga t-shirt na mga 53 euros or whatnot. Mga may sale items naman. I always make sure that uh, I need those items. If not, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna buy it. So, in total guys, ang monthly expenses ko is this. Malaki ba? Pero huwag kayong magalala, may savings pa rin ako. Well, sa savings, aside dun sa credit union, ang sa credit union kasi guys, sinet ko na 300 euros per month siya. So aside from that, I'm trying to save more money. So may tinatawag akong ipon challenge. So roughly 150 to 200 euros per month. Depende na lang din kung may sasobra. And meron akong tinatawag na paluwagan. So paluwagan, um, 
I'm trying to save roughly about 500 euros per month. Para lang may contingency fund ka guys. Kasi it is very important, especially sa mga OFW na tulad ko, that we have an emergency fund. Kasi anything can happen guys. At pag nangyari yun, wala naman tayong aasahan eh. Kundi yung mga sarili lang natin. So we need to take care of ourselves as well. And we need to have at least an amount for any untoward events or situation. Okay, so what I can advise you guys, maliit man ang sweldo natin or malaki man ang sweldo natin, we really have to save money for ourselves and for our family. Now, the question is, pinagsisiyan ko ba na lumipat ako from Saudi Arabia to Ireland? Salary-wise, technically, mas malaki talaga yung salary ko dito sa Ireland. Yun nga lang, sa Saudi Arabia kasi, walang tax yung sweldo doon. Is it worth it? Well, in my standpoint, definitely. The main reason of my transfer here, guys, is for a long-term project, okay? Number one, again, yung free education for my son, greater opportunity, and of course, to travel within Europe, okay? And we have to understand, guys, lahat naman ng mga bansa na pupuntahan natin to work whatever profession you have, may mga pros and cons naman yan, di ba? So, kailangan mo lang i-weigh things kung ano yung pinaka-best para sa'yo. And of course, you really have to have a good research of that country. Especially sa standard of living nila, sa mga expenses. And as I mentioned earlier, guys, you really just need to save, save, and save. Yun lang naman ang key natin dito. So, yun lang guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I just wanted to share with you guys kung ano nga ba yung mga expenses ko dito, and your salary, and deductions, etc. And I hope that you learned something from here. And if you do please don't forget to share and like this video and if you haven't done it please subscribe to my channel and like my facebook page nurse raymond 123 and once again thank you so much for tuning in and i'm gonna see you on my next vlog orange juice oh orange juice mustard yellow shirt background the yellow hmm. yellow kulang na lang hepatitis <laughs>